This is an unboxing of Mike Fitzgerald's Baseball Highlights 2045. I'm super excited about getting into this game. Not only because it's meant to be a fantastic solo play, but also because it's got some absolutely fantastic artwork. Um, it's called 2045, but really it's more like 1945. When we get into it, we'll find out there's robots, cyborgs, and naturals, but they all seem to be wearing like 1945 kits. And uh, some of the robot technology actually doesn't look as advanced as this. It seems to look like steam-powered uh, 1940s vision of uh, of what what the future would look like. So um, let's get into it. So in this game, basically, the um, baseball association. Major League Baseball, MLB, you can tell I'm not a baseball fan, um, has decided that uh, things have come a bit stale and they've fallen behind the greatest sport competitor, American football. So they introduced cyborgs and uh, robots. Cyborgs are amazing pitchers, robots are amazing batters, and naturals, just the, the unmodified human players, are, are the fantastic fielders. Now, I've often thought that this is the way the Olympics should go, but I suspect I'm probably wrong. You know, if Usain Bolt just had robotic legs, um, or was allowed to take as many drugs as he wanted, then um, I think it'd probably be a lot more interesting spectacle. So, uh, first thing about the unboxing, the photograph is absolutely fantastic. It's clearly been done on the dude's table uh, with a uh, baseball here to show us it's about baseball. So, uh, cheers for that, Mike. But, uh, <laughs> looks fantastic. Let's have a look inside. So, we have plain box lid by Eagle Games and we've got a rule booklet which is available as a PDF if you're particularly interested in this and this is what I'm saying about the uh, the artwork I mean steam powered robots in 2045 not really that likely but super cool and uh, all the uniforms they don't look like sort of uh, Adidas Nike type affairs the sort of flannel uniforms it's more like 1945 so it's an amazing aesthetic and here's the coach from one of the coach expansions. It looks like a uh, pretty thorough rule book with a variety of um, sublime to the ridiculous robots. And here's what we're interested in, the solitaire rules. And we'll get into that in a, um, an overview of the game and also rules tutorial and playthrough. So rule book. We have some uh, actions cards as well. Now it's intended for one to four player. I believe there's um, a spring training version which is just for two player but this is the four player version although not the super deluxe version which is about £140 and includes all of the um, all the upgrade cards and expansions. We've got home and visitor chits and a few tokens there. Uh, play mats. Now I believe there's a promo pack where these play mats are shrunk down to um, the size of a playing card, which I really like because it does seem like an unnecessarily large box um, for, for this game. So, four, you'd expect four playmats, four playmats, and a lot of space for expansions. I believe there's seven expansions plus a number of starter teams. Um, here we have the, uh, the runner pawns, so Blue is average runners, red fast, and white for slow runners, I believe. So there'll be enough for four players there, I should think. And we've got slightly bent, but packaged decks. And these look like the teams, perhaps. And these are maybe the free agents. And these are the free agents. So half a number of these will form um, two players, plus that plus four cards and a few small um, cubes perhaps for meeples and that could fit in a deck box and you've got a two player version of this game which, uh, which I really like so let's have a look at the cards so we'll start off with the uh, with the cards first I guess the starter teams That's a shame that they've arrived bent, but I'm sure they'll straighten out in time. But San Francisco, so here's uh, our naturals, which uh, glove is typically uh, fielding type um, skills. Cyborgs, 
change all hits to walks, so they're uh, effectively giving you um, better pitching skills. Robots are just giving you better, um, better hits. So these greens, I believe, are the amount of revenue, and it generally uh, comes into apparently the uh, the naturals, or at least the free agent naturals, bring you more revenue because the, the fans like them. Whereas the robots, the, the fans are a little bit skeptical, so they don't bring in quite as much. Uh, so we've got San Francisco, Los Angeles. Is there any difference in artwork? The colours, by the looks of things. I love the way that this thing in the background looks like some kind of um, mech warrior, but with a baseball instead of a can. Looks like something from War Machine. So we've got Los Angeles, San Francisco, Boston, different colours again. Are they the same kind of cards? Yeah, they look like identical Star Trek glove cancel one hit. Pick off. Take off, yeah, so they're identical, just different colours by the looks of things. I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll find out if something's different. Let's just check the last team, which is New York Glove, Pick Off, Natural with a Single Glove, Pick Off, Natural with a Single. Yeah, so you get four identical starter teams by the looks of things. And um, the free agents are what effectively you buy in the trading room, much like Star Realms or any other deck building game. Um, get these open. So this is where the real action of the game is. And um, this is where you can buy various expansions with new free agents. And there's three uh, expansions which are of particular interest to me, which is uh, just the robots, naturals, and, um, and cyborgs, which provide different um, different cards, but I believe there's coaches, errors, and the various other types. So these are for or from different areas: Pittsburgh, San Francisco, New York, Cincinnati, Detroit. And if you look at the artwork, they are sort of old-time baseball, lovely mustaches, <laughs> flannel shirts, old uh, old boots. So I think that's where the 2045 slash 1945 sort of aesthetic comes from. But these are the um, the cards that you'll buy from round to round. So I can't wait to get stuck into this. If you like these kind of videos, do subscribe, uh, like and comment. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. We're probably going to do a playthrough. Uh, we'll do a rules tutorial in time. And uh, let us know how you get on. So that is Baseball Highlights 2045.